Hey guys, it's Amy. Today I have a special review for you guys. I am so excited to finally get my hands on this amazing bag. It came in this shopping bag. It comes with a kit like this. On the inside, there's like a little sort of glove thingy where you can use to um, polish or wipe your bag. And then this magnetic little box here, Chanel tissue paper. And then of course, there's always the camellia and ribbon that was wrapped around. So this is not a true unboxing video um, just because I came home and I really wanted to inspect the bag more properly. I mean, I did that at the store briefly, but um, I definitely wanted to like try some of my things inside and to be able to sort of give you guys a better overview, at least a better first impression of the bag. So it comes in this little dust bag to reveal any guesses. <laughs> Oh, wow. Ta-da! <laughs> this is the uh, rectangular mini in the light gold color. The official name is light gold, but honestly, it is more of an iridescent rose gold with silver hardware. Under certain lighting, it can pass as a kind of beigey, um, like a peachy sort of light gold. So I guess that's probably why they called it light gold which was really confusing because um, I have been asking about this bag for the longest time the minute that I found out that it existed I had already contacted my SA to ask if they will receive any and I was told initially that there wouldn't be any and the reason is because I described it as the iridescent gold or the rose gold color and um, they didn't know anything that was rose gold. They just knew this bag as being light gold. Eventually we found out that it is, we're actually talking about the same bag. The day that I picked it up, I uh, saw a subby. Um, I was like, she was right there and then she was looking at some wallets and then she told me that she watches my video. So if you're watching, hello. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I've spoken to two of my good friends here on YouTube, Lala and Karis. Hello, if you're watching. Uh, they have given me some feedback regarding the bag and I went ahead with the decision to, you know, pursue it because in Canada it is just, I mean, everywhere I'm sure, but in Canada especially, it is so hard to get a hands to get your hands on any mini bags because we receive such a small number like every store only gets a, like a handful which is insane because the demand is definitely there so if you guys follow my channel you would know that i got the square mini uh how many seasons ago uh anyway i think this was the cruise 2016 so it was around i cannot remember now is it november is it november 2016 or was it September it's almost a year ago so basically I got this in the cruise 2016 a collection this collection was really really gorgeous the caviar leather was very sturdy and very shiny like as you can see and this bag is stiff it's so sturdy the 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 puffs the uh, the quilts there's I don't even see any chances of sagging and the leather on this one is definitely a lot tougher whereas um on this one, you can definitely feel the difference right off the bat. I mean, I already see some creasing along the um, stitching of the flap. Whenever you open it, sometimes you might sort of just hold it from one side. So just from doing that, you can still already see some creasing here, which I'm not too bothered about it because it, it is leather and, you know, every season is different. But I did notice right off the bat that this season's bag leather is a lot softer in terms of you can even see the mushiness of the of the bag and the quilting itself is just a little bit more um, soft to the touch you know you can really press it whereas with this one even if you press it uh, I feel like it won't get indentation as easily maybe it's just because the bag is smaller so here's a side-by-side -side comparison um, honestly height wise there isn't really that much of a big difference uh, maybe because this season's uh, rectangular is bigger because that's what I read in a lot of places they're saying that uh, this season's rectangular minis are slightly bigger which is awesome because that's the whole reason why I wanted a rectangular mini uh, so yeah there you go the height wise it's really not that much more different um, obviously width wise there is 
a slight difference. This one is narrower. However, if you look at um, if you look at the side of the bag, you'll see that um, with the rectangular mini, that it's pretty much the same width from top to bottom. And whereas this one, it really does taper up, which is also the reason why this one fits less than the rectangular mini, at least with this season's rectangular mini. One of you have asked me recently why all the classic flaps seem to be different, like including minis and just the regular classic medium large jumbo, etc. The reason is because every season it changes. Uh, minis are actually seasonal nowadays. In this season, uh, definitely. The size is a bit bigger to begin with. It's a lot of bit, a little bit rounded here with the chevron ones. Um, the leather texture might be different. Like this one is a little softer than my cruise one. The strap length is different even because the strap length on this one is actually not that long, which I love because you guys know that I'm not super tall. I'm 5'4", and um, this this strap length, the drop is only about a couple inches longer than my mini, um, my square mini, which is great because I didn't want this bag to be too, too long on me. I was not sure whether the raw edges on the strap leather, the leather straps were going to be problematic because Lala had an issue with the fraying of the edges of this leather and uh, so far I haven't seen any. Obviously mine is completely brand new so there's no issues at all at this moment. Uh, I'm not sure how it will wear over the long run. I'm hoping that it's not going to be that big of an issue. A little bit of fraying is not going to scare me too much and I'm not going to freak out too much about it. Uh, but um, I spoke to a few friends, Karis, uh, you told me that you know that kind of stuff is normal because you do see it on some of your colored bags which kind of is a relief so I am happy to know that and I will definitely monitor the strap in terms of wear and tear and report back to you guys. The other thing that I noticed about this bag, or I'm not sure if it's rectangle minis in general, is that this edge here in the back, right here, they're quite pointy and they kind of like are more outwards. I'll try to do a close-up but basically these these two corners here, they seem to be quite exposed. I don't know if in the long run it would be an issue every season the bags themselves even though they're sort of like classic shape or classics they're still a little bit different from year to year so i don't know if it's just maybe because this year they decided to do it this way um so yeah that's something that i definitely noticed i remember trying on a rectangular mini before and it was definitely easier to fit things inside but i feel like this one is definitely a lot bigger compared to past seasons so i'm definitely happy for that like i said before i was able to fit pretty much everything that i need uh very essential on this in this bag uh, and you know you guys know that i have a huge phone and i carry my vlogging camera everywhere so it fits all that inside but the difference is that this one i have to reorganize my bag every time and the phone is on the snug side whereas this one it just easily fits everything, no struggle, and then in fact I have extra space to put like lipstick and my car keys. I'm filming with my camera so I'm not going to be able to use my camera to uh, show you but it still gives you a good idea. So there is my phone and I have my keys and yes I'm able to stand up my SLGs, I mean when I close it it does touch the flap but that's not a huge concern to me I don't really mind it and then of course I'll use my card holder the card holder is slightly taller actually so I'll put it in the middle and pretend this is my camera obviously I know it's not really my camera but um, Basically, the camera will take up the whole space here. See how much more room there is left. So basically, I have all this room on top of the camera and I can easily put my car keys. And I have this huge charm here or keychain here that I bought in Italy in my, during my recent trip. We even got the monogram. So all this will fit on top of the camera. And I still have like space for our lip balm, which is really basically all I bring or I can even stick it here actually. So yeah, I was 
pleasantly surprised at how much and how well it fits now of course it's a little tight here because these SLGs are a little bit taller but it's not really an issue it still closes I know some of you will probably ask me <laughs> after seeing this video which one I recommend or which bag I would get the square or the rectangle or which one I prefer to be very honest I really love this square mini because it was such a great collection, the leather, everything, the combination of the light gold color, the texture of the leather, and the shininess of and the, everything um, was so great on this collection. The only issue that I had mainly with this one is um, that I struggle a little bit to, you know, to get in and out of this bag basically. My phone is bigger than the iPhone Plus which is pretty much the phone that everyone has, but I have an even bigger phone. And so with the case, uh, you know, it is very snug and it's the part where I struggle to get in and out um, or the, f the fussiness of getting in and out. That's the part that I don't like very much. But otherwise, this bag is so cute and it's the perfect chain length for me and it is such a cute shape like honestly who doesn't like this square mini for the time being i don't really have any plans to sell this one yet or to let go of this one because like i said it is a perfect little chanel mini bag in the perfect black and gold combination and i also figure that I'm not gonna have this phone forever. The, my future phone will probably be slightly smaller even though I'll still opt for the bigger phones but I think I'll get a thinner and you know dimension wise it will be a little bit more accommodating hopefully so uh, I'm gonna hang on to this for now um, but yeah I, I guess it will depend on whether I find the perfect rectangle mini in black as well. Uh, at which point I might decide to part with this one but for now um, I still really love this one and to answer the question that I brought up uh, it really just boils down to what you carry and what your preference is I honestly think that the square shape is really really cute uh, more more so than the rectangle it's just the, re the rectangle is slightly more convenient if that makes sense so hopefully that was helpful for those of you who are wondering uh, which one I would pick, I still would pick both, I guess. <laughs> for reference, if you guys don't remember, I'm 5'4", so around 163 centimeters, I think. Uh, and the drop on this particular square is about 20 inch or 20 inch and a little bit uh, to be very generous. And then uh, the rectangle that I have from this season is about 22 or tw between 22 and 23 inch drop which is perfect for me because I always try to go for bags with a drop between 20 and 22 inches that's like the optimum length for me <laughs> so yeah I'll definitely report back to you guys after using it for a little while uh, on what my thoughts and wear and tear of this bag is from just initial impression I don't think that it would be a really problematic bag to wear uh, especially because you guys know that I always buy black right you you know that I always choose black or monogram which is still very dark color and in the perfect world I would have every bag in two different colors one black and one light color it doesn't matter what the light color is as long as it's a neutral so any dark beige or like brown beige or iridescent gold like this or even silver I'm all for it because it will basically match every kind of outfit possible anytime I wear anything darker or on the black side and I would use my black bag and anytime I wear any other color or even if I wear black I can still wear something like this which is amazing so I definitely still consider this as a neutral so I hope you guys enjoyed today's reveal slash um, small comparison I guess with my previous square mini flap from the cruise 2016 season i like i said i really love both i i can't really you know deny this one it is a beauty but i think this one will be so much more easy to get in and out of and i will just enjoy it that much more because of that reason but i don't know i i can't part with this one yet i don't think i have to think long and hard and 
yeah we'll see but hopefully that was helpful for you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you guys are new to my channel welcome and i would love to have you if you decide to subscribe that's it for today i will try to post another video this week because i was actually planning on filming something else but this came up so i couldn't wait but yeah i think that is it for today and i will talk to you again very soon bye